Ladies and gentlemen, there is something about minimalistic, hex-based city builders where I place tiles and, and that's the entire game that uh, just makes me very happy. <laughs> this is a new one. This is Hexpire, uh, which is a relaxing city builder where we're building a prosperous empire by, by placing tiles. Uh, this is a, a very early access demo, uh, so you can check it out. Uh, link in the description down below. We're gonna play and, and see what's going on here. There was actually just a, a huge update to the demo that adds a, a new ship mechanic. Uh, so intrigued to see what the ship mechanic is. But we are going to play, um, and we're gonna play classic mode. Uh, hard mode and quick mode will be available in the full version. So uh, when that releases, you can check out those. We'll play on classic and see what's going on here. I actually, I, I kind of love the art style <laughs> in this game. It's got that minimalistic vibe, like almost cartoony, um, but still the little animations on the trees, the water moving, it, it looks super cute. Um, so I, I can place a ship, right? Or choose a ship. Um, every five turns after a field is placed, it will permanently make one more dollar. Wells produce twice as much water. Buildings placed on a plains tile make a bonus $2. Buildings in the desert make a bonus $1 per adjacent building. Log cabins make twice as much money. Bro, I don't know what any of this means. Um, so, I mean, let's just pick one, right? It seems we have a lot of planes tiles. So let's let's do buildings placed on planes tiles make a bonus $2. I guess I can just take them all. <laughs> okay. Um, five turns after a field is placed, it permanently makes another. So they, these ships are, I mean, he's, he's a little upside down in the top right, but that's okay. Oh, I guess you only get three, so my wells produce more more money too. The, sh the ships are a little upside down, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, This is the number of buildings that we have left, presumably before the game ends. Why are the ships upside down, brother? Ah, this is freaking me out for some reason. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, okay, so this is our city hall. Um, makes $10 minus how many hexes away from the center. So, oh my lord, okay. Um, so yeah, the, it makes logical sense we would put this in the center, right? Now I am a little bit confused why, oh, it's because it's a planes tile, so the planes tile is gonna make an additional two as well, um, whereas these in the forest, I was like, why is it 10 here but nine here? It's because the planes tile gives you two more. Because this is technically an 8 right now. Okay, just put it in the middle, right? 12, 12 seems good. So now I got 12 bucks. It looks like at $200 I can buy some more some more tiles. Um, which seems fine. Let's see what else we got. So Log Cabin, you make $3 if you're on a forest tile. Plus $2 for each adjacent forest tile without a building. Or $1 for each with. Okay. Um, so I'm looking at you, you want to put, you want to put it, uh, dude, I, I think that they should not tell you how much money each tile gets, right? Because the, the strategy here, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to pick one of these six tiles, right? But let, let the user come to that conclusion. I'm going to put it right here. I think this is the, the most logical tile for it. Oh, and this makes an additional 12 that turn as well. So every time we place a building, uh, for which I have 22, I get the money of all of my buildings. That's cool. Okay, so this is a house makes a dollar for each adjacent water with a max of nine adjacent water plus $2 for each adjacent field. Um, okay. So two bucks on literally any of these. Can I... Is there a way to, to, I can't, I can't back out now that I've chosen this. And I also can't see what the heck it does. Um, I mean, I feel like being adjacent to water, I, I would want this to be here-ish. So I'm just going to put you there. Now I got three fields. Um, a barley field and then a wheat field. So, so two different kinds of fields. Barley makes $2 for each adjacent water. With a max of, of six adjacent water. Wheat makes one dollar for each adjacent water with a max of seven, plus a dollar for each adjacent building. So wheat wants to be next to buildings. So let's, yeah, this, this seems logical to put it here. I feel like I'm not getting any bonus from it being next to water though. Right? Am I, am I losing it here? 
I feel like that's that's a little strange. Yeah, just put it here. Like this this is clearly the best next to that house. And I'm slowly getting my money stacked up. So make two dollar for each adjacent water. It's like why 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 does this give the same as these, brother? I'm so confused. I don't think that this barley is very good. I'm just gonna put it up here and get some more stuff. Okay, new things. Explorer hut. Make $4 if no adjacent buildings, 5 if on a sand tile. Okay, um, that seems straightforward. Another house, $2 for each adjacent field, so I cannot put that, uh, interesting, I cannot put that on a mountain tile, though. This looks like a mine, I'm betting I can put the mine on a mountain tile. Put you, put you right here, right, and then we'll surround you with regular fields. And that seems fine. This is a mine. Make three to five dollars plus one dollar for each adjacent building. Um, yeah, that seems extremely logical right here. Yeah, that seems extremely logical right here. I'm, I'm good with that. We, we got 200. Let's click this. Give six hexagon tiles and six more building tiles. Okay, interesting. And then that, that keeps us going, right? That keeps us going. And then this allows me I can build more things. So this is a, a forest tile now. Um, put forest tiles next to forest tiles, right? Because this is, this is our way of, of making future log cabins a lot better, right? And then more plains tiles. I think that surrounding this house with more plains tiles is perfect. Hey, the ship is upright. That's very exciting. That one's not, <laughs> but, and, and that one's not, but at least one is, is very exciting. Um, so the explorer hut just put you out in the boondocks, brother. Like, no, nobody's going out here, so take your nine. 290 to our next. A well produces water depending on groundwater level. I understand wholeheartedly. It's not the water around the place. We can make water. Yeah, so like, this is an eight. So the, the barley field wants to be next to water. Put it right here. Oh my lord, now the barley field's giving me 15, brother. It went from being our worst thing to our best thing. <laughs> okay, that makes so much more sense now. Um, this mine can go right here very happily, and then another log cabin. Um, I mean, realistically, you're just gonna put it right here. I think, well, you know what? Put it right here, because I'm gonna put another well right there in the future. New buildings. Um, the lighthouse, $3 for each adjacent ocean tile. Would have been really nice to know ocean and water are different, but that's, that's okay. Um, so $3 for each adjacent ocean tile. That makes, yeah, this tile, this tile, and this tile your best. Um, I'm gonna put it up there. I got no issues with that. Another log cabin, I think, you know, put, put it right here. This is the kind of optimal log cabin layout at this point. And then another house, uh, you, you want to just put, like, here-ish. So three wells now, um, and I can also, I can buy more, more tiles here in a second, but give me, give me a well. We want the well to be next to the barley field. We also want it to be next to these, though. But the desert is, like, really horrible. Put one here, just because that does end up buffing all this. It doesn't produce a lot of water, but... Bro, I don't really need to produce any water, right? Like, water kind of doesn't matter. <laughs> I think that we benefit more from having... You know, maybe you put one right here, and then you can build fields into here. We got pyramids now. The, the py pyramid. <laughs> Make $3 if adjacent to a sand tile with a building on it. So yeah, this is, these are the only spots where you want to be isolated. So I think up here is actually completely fine. Probably would have been better right here, I guess, because then I'm assuming if you're next to another one, you would make even more. Maybe, I don't know. Um, I'll put a, a mine right there. Barley field for each adjacent water with a max of six. So that's where, yeah, that, that's where we screwed up a little bit with that. Um because this already has a max of six, right? Just put it here. That's still a, a beefy amount of amount of cash. Um, I'd like to just get my new tiles. The problem is when you get the new tiles, it wipes your, your previous tiles that you have. So it's kind of, uh, I feel like it's a little little strange. Let, let's build out 
more of this up here. And then I, I like the concept of, of continuing to build out some forest over there. This is going to be another mountain. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really too too enthralled with, with any mountain tiles here. We want it to be next to structures, so maybe like here, right? And then we can just do some wacky. That becomes a good place for an explorer hut. So now you can do that. Um, this becomes a decent spot. This becomes a decent spot. We've got 12, 12 buildings still remaining. So water production, water production just kind of, kind of whatever is, is decent right there for sure. Um, wheat field. So $1 for each adjacent water, $1 for each adjacent building. That makes this the best spot for sure which then also buffs the houses, which is obviously great. Um, so far, mines are kind of the dumbest tile, right? Because it's just, it's, you just put them on the mountains. <laughs> There's no other decision to be made uh, with the mines, but that's, that's all right. Um, let's get some more tiles, man. Let's get some more tiles. I'm just gonna keep building like a, a mega forest over here. Did they keep giving me forests, so I'm gonna keep on taking them. Uh, and then, I mean, you, you want the, the mines to be, you don't want to hurt this though. So I think you can do something like that. Log cabin now, you got a 15 banger right there. Probably not the most efficient because we could have put it like one here and then one here. Although this is actually going to be the same. I think it's fine. Okay. I think it's fine. We're, we'll survive. It's okay. This is a beautiful spot. And then I think you 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 can put this wherever <laughs> is my opinion. What water? What water? Kind of useless. Okay, water kind of useless. Just put it like here. So then lighthouse you can do here. Log cabin goes right here. I think that's a fine spot. And then another mine you can put right here. 528 down here. I mean, dude, we're gonna be here forever. <laughs> <laughs> this this is uh this it's a lot right you're I, i'm gonna build out to the middle of scenic nowhere right now but you're you're always going th th this is borderline infinite am i am i stuck playing this for the rest of my life i think there's a small chance so barley field a big 14 up there is pretty good um more more wells dude wells are just horrible they're, they're actively the worst thing in the game. I don't want to place this well, man. It actively harms me. I'll put it right here because it buffs that field. Okay. But I, I will not be playing wells anymore. There, there's no reason to. This is a pretty decent spot. I mean, we, we could build out... We, we should actually build out some, some whack job... You can do sand tiles, like, out into the middle of nowhere, right? And then a lighthouse out here goes crazy. So that, that seems very good to me. That buffs our, our cabin immediately. Okay, um... Do a, do a little one of you. Well produces water. You're just, you're just terrible. You're, you're just terrible. Give me, give me more tiles. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna keep the meme flowing at this point. The, the more lighthouses we get, the, the happier we're going to be. Um, so play some more of these. Uh, I really don't want to play this, so I'm just going to play this again. It's probably, like, not intelligent in the slightest, but I do think it's very funny. This isn't even really intelligent, what I'm doing with the mountains. Um, because you, you don't want... I have to play this well, man. Just play it, play it right here. It does actually buff that mine, to be fair. Do, do mines for each adjacent building? Yeah, so they affect each other, um, which actually ends up being a pretty decent play for me. Well, wells are basically just um, screw you tiles. Like, they, they just take up space and do nothing for me. They, they add a little bit to our uh, to our fields, but it's it's such an, a, a tiny amount, right? That it's just not, it's not advantageous at all. I think this was a house. 
Houses are also kind of bad in my, or this was not a house, this was a hut. This was a tiny hut. Um, give me a tiny hut. We'll put you all the way out in the middle of nowhere. That seems fine. And then you can put this guy right here. I know this was a better space for it, um, but it would kill this nine, so I didn't like that. Barley, $2 per adjacent water. 14 sounds pretty good. Um, wheat field is, is houses and water, so right here is pretty good. Another, another log cabin, um, yeah, I, I think that, I think you're starting to not like log cabins either. Your most efficient things are fields, for sure. Like, just playing fields and houses is ungodly good. Like, 14 from a field while buffing a house is, is crazy. I understand you need a little water. You don't need this much water. Um, but you do need a little bit of water. You can do this. And then that lines us up for another barley field right there. Uh, we're running out of space for houses down here, but that's that's okay. Uh, we'll survive. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna be fine. Place this here. Another wheat field. Needs water and then adjacent buildings. This is pretty good, right? I guess this is this is really good. Um, it's got the water and it's got the adjacent buildings. I was thinking in terms of houses, but we, we really don't need houses there. I mean, I got 10,000 bits of juice right now. Um, pyramids are, are pure crap. <laughs> They are, they are horrible. I guess I'll put it here, but that kills the efficiency of, of him. So keep it going. Give me, give me more tiles. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm just gonna continue to be a meme at this point. Little, little, uh, one of these. Keep this nonsense flowing down here. I did not want to put that there. I was trying to click and drag to put it up here. Can I, can I move? I can't move with Wazda. <laughs> okay, um... Give me, give me, uh, give me, uh, give me, uh, give me, uh, give me, uh... I kind of want to keep those going, so, so give me this right here. It's less money, but it breaks less money. So I think that there's, there's some value there. Same with, like, this. Um, huts can go down here. Not the, not the Isaac YouTuber. The mine can go right here. Wheat field. Um, I think I want to play this first, because I want to go here. And then, of course, I want to go here, because I'm, I'm a very simple person. And then we'll go here, we'll go here. You're going to put this. I'm being very careful to click into the, the water and not click to drag from, from the spot that, you know, exists right there. So give me a well, give me a house, give me a wheat field. Give me a wheat field. We hate the well, we hate the well, we hate the well. It is what it is. Um, place this here. That's not a great spot, but that's fine. 2,000 for this. Bro, I'm gonna be here forever. I mean, this is, we're, we're in, we're in never-ending, never-ending placement mode right now. I also don't even remember what the heck those ships did. <laughs> I know the ship, one of them was houses... Provide two more if they're on a plane or something. Um, we produce double the water or something. I, I, I don't remember what they were. There's no way to see. Which is something that, that would be very helpful to have. Just place that there. It buffs those two a little bit. Another mine. Keep it going. I, I, see, a, I see an issue rising here with, with the strategy in this game. Um... There's, there's not enough unique tiles, right? So you, you end up where you, you reach a point where you're just kind of, you're just doing the same thing over and over and over, right? It's like we, we have the strategy worked out and I'm kind of just clicking. I mean, it's, it's not the most optimal strategy you've ever seen, um, but it's, you're, you're just going to, I feel like we're, we're just like infinitely going forever. I feel like I'm getting punked and I'm, I'm now stuck in this video for the rest of my life or something. I mean, I guess I'm running out of tiles. 
but that's that's why we can just get more tiles, man. And it's so cheap. I mean, I, I got 11,000. It only costs 3,000 to get more tiles. I did not want to place that. <laughs> did not want to place that there. I'm going to start branching off this way. Because we need the... Uh, we need to get some more stuff going that direction. Put you here. Put you here. I'm gonna put you here. We're, we're actually, I can't believe that I'm saying this. Um, we're looking for some water soon. Like wa water provides us with a little bit of value. Um, this field kind of trash. All these fields are kind of trash now. Um, at least putting them next to water up there is fine. I just feel like I'm clicking and no matter what I'm making, I'm making bank 24 seven, man. It's, it's profit everywhere we look. And the game gets so easy because I could just like look around and be like, oh yeah, this gives me eight from putting it right there. It's like the strategy, the strategy dies really quickly in this game because the game holds your hand. When, when you do a strategy game, you gotta be very careful. You, you gotta give people the keys to the kingdom, right? Teach them. This game did not teach anything. Um, it kind of just throws you in, which is fine, um, but it throws you in and then, and then it just holds your hand the whole time. Like, toss me to the wind. I need a lose condition, man. Um, you, you gotta give me like a little bit more in terms of uh, just kind of, just kind of what needs to be processed while you play, right? And it just, it, I mean, it needs more tiles. The, everything in a, in a game like this where you're you're placing down you know kind of a, a tile based strategy game right you, you have to introduce new things over time um otherwise you just fall into the same routine also it is an alarming number of desert tiles man holy lordy this is they're, they're just never ending it, it's only desert and mountain we don't, we don't get any planes we, we've built out this number of planes look at how many damn desert we have is crazy um sure put it right there is it optimal no um did you just where did i place that <laughs> i think my mind just placed out in the middle of the ocean or no 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 i'm, I'm clicked onto it but i hadn't placed it yet okay we're good i was like what the heck happened right there Anyway, it's a cute idea. Um, we're also, we're about to die. So I suppose that some of what I said, the, the money amounts to, to refresh and get more tiles started to ramp up very, very quickly here. Um, it's, a, it's a great idea, this game. Um, with more content, it's going to be great. People are going to go crazy over this. Um, but it, it's a demo, right? And that's, the whole point of a demo is to just kind of craft up what, what a game is going to be what a game should be. This is my way of like putting a, an ounce of caution on it. This is a very important well. Um, this can be an important well. I'm, I'm putting a little bit of caution because it, it the demo is, is bare bones for sure. Like it, it's gonna need more to, to really, really show off what this game can be. But as somebody who loves, you know, board games and especially tile placement board games, um, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a good little, little, little tile placement board game. Give me, give me, uh, give me this right here and then this right here. I do wish I could zoom out and I could see like the whole world that I've created, right? Um, or, or a way at the end, you know, when, when we, and this may already be there, uh, we'll, we'll see, but some way to see like, here's how you started and then here's what you made kind of thing would be really cool too. Um, put that there. Not really helping us in any way, but it's fine. It's fine. You can put one right here. And these log cabins are just, we, we created a damn commune over here, man. But, uh, we're, we're just slowly, slowly trickling away. It, another thing the game is, is going to need is, is just more, more, uh, tile types, right? You've got plains, you got desert, you got mountain, you got forest. You need more, you know, you need swamp, you need a uh, lake, you, you need all, all kinds of, of different ones where there's different characteristics that, that get affected um, for certain tiles, right? 
you need you need to implement more more decision making and and kind of just more uh i mean just more <laughs> i keep on saying the word more over and over and over but it's it's the the truth games like this benefit from having an alarming amount of content otherwise the replayability factor kind of kind of dies put this right here give me some more tiles please <laughs> more mountains like the fact that i can only put mines on, on mountains man requires you getting just an alarming number of mines for it to ever be worth it to take mountain tiles you know even even maybe restricting the grid a little bit so that you can't just do what i'm doing over here um the game kind of encourages you to make extremely unrealistic situations which is fine it's it's not uh it's not something that's, that's breaking the immersion of the game, but it just, you know, when, when you get a mine, the decision making should be, oh, where should I place a mine? Not, all right, throw another one into the mountain area. <laughs> you know, you, you gotta, you gotta work with some, some decision making here. Uh, let's see. We, we want this to touch, touch down here. I guess you can put right there. Another lighthouse, been a little bit since the lighthouse. Big 15 over there. Get another house going. You still got 17 tiles, man. I, I feel like I said that we, we were losing like 20 minutes ago. We're, we're not losing anytime soon, my guy. This is a good spot for that. Uh, into the cabin commune, you go. We've slowly filled out most of this middle area at this point. We started Pyramid Alley down here. Keep Pyramid Alley flowing. I kind of want to get some more tiles so we can keep Pyramid Alley flowing. That's just not where I wanted that again. <laughs> put you there. Put you up here. Put you down here. Another log cabin. Into the commune. Another mine. Into the commune. Some more of these. Uh, un, do. Don't got the toi, but that's that's all right. Keep them flowing. Ten more tiles to go. Ten more tiles to go until they hit this fourteen thousand and get another another six or whatever it is. Um, but we can put that down there. Another wheat field that goes pretty well right there. Give me some more tiles and some more buildings. Keep the keep the good times rolling, right? Keep the good times rolling. More more forest, just helping the the commune grow. This is where we do want to make like a, a pyramid sanctuary over here. We'll be pretty good. I have obliterated these log cabins in the middle, but that's is part of doing business at this point. There's not much we can do. Um, give me give me an aider right here. We, we got a four we can put down. It's not great, but it's, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, 13 over here. There was a 14 right here. That's that's my bed. That's my bed. Um, lighthouse for, for 12 right there. Pretty decent. 17,000 is the magic number. We, we might lose. Okay, we might lose here. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for the loss. I mean, we, we actually benefit frick all from this field. <laughs> we're we're going to need... Oh, no, we're, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. We're, we're making like 1,500 a turn right now. Which is pretty decent. Um, I'll put you right there. Give me some more tiles, please. We were we were in dire need of some planes here, but no no planes to be found. Um, I, would, I would definitely humor if you want to provide me with some more... Uh, I, I just don't care about wells still. I'll put one right here for, for kicks and giggles. I was going to say we can humor pyramids. I like pyramids. This would have been a much better sp spot to put that pyramid, but that's, that's okay. Another little mine right here. You got more barley fields. You can do a barley field right here. I do not like these barley fields that I have right now. They, they, are, they are not useful. They are not useful. I'm, I'm forced to put this in a garbage location. Let's put it all the way up there. 
Okay, explore Dora Sand Huts. You can go right there. And then a well can go right here. At this point, we're just trying to survive. I can only place one more thing. I think, I think we lose. I think we lose. Hey, we did it. <laughs> All right. My score is 20,211. Apparently my high score is, is higher than that. I have not played this game before. Um, so that, that's Hexpire. Dude, I mean, look, it's it's a little rough around the edges. I'm, I'm not gonna deny that in the slightest. Um, but there is there's a future here that, that makes sense, right? I, I can see all of these being available. Um, there's a future here that makes sense. M more, more of everything, right? It just needs more of everything uh, in order for it to to pop off. Um, I do think that there's 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 an interesting conversation to be had about whether showing the amount of money that a tile can make is a, a positive or not. Maybe, maybe it's you can implement some kind of cheat system, right? where you can spend money in order to see where is the optimal location here or something. Um, I just think the complexity of the game has to has to increase in order for it to grab you a little bit more. But I like the direction it's going. Um, I like tile placement games, man. I'm, I'm just a fan of these as a whole. Uh, so I still had a good time. You can check this out for yourself. The, the demo is linked in the description down below. Hexpire. Um, Wishlist it and, and enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next episode. You have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.